So what we have here now is a small block Chevy cylinder head. Customers run with not such a good air filter. So all the guides and the seats and the valves are worn out by the sand in approximately 10, I don't know, yeah, 10 runs, so to say, in dirt track or circle track. Anyways, what we do is first we drill out the MCO guides or manganese guides with a special drill. It is prepared especially for these tough manganese bronze. It is welded <coughs> with tungsten carbide eccentrically, so to say. So on a couple of tips, uh, I've welded a thicker um, layer of tungsten carbide, so the drill uh, works itself free. If you use this drill normally, a lot of drills which you use normally in manganese bronze or MCO45 bronze, they'll just seize or stick, you know, because it's a re really clamping material, so to say, difficult to... Uh, drill uh, and also to ream. So um, after I've done that, uh, so only a little shell, so to say, is left that you can press out very easily. Then the next step is you check all the bores in which the guides will be pressed in again. Uh, what appeared from these bores, they were about uh, two hundredths of a millimeter too small, one and a half to two hundredths, and you might say, well, that's not a lot. No, it's not, but then the press fit is roughly five hundredths of a millimeter, and that's a little bit too much, because first, when you press them in again, they might, you know, uh, gel, so to say, and damage the bore. Also, the high press fit will cause deformation in the cylinder head itself, and that's not really a problem, but the problem you get then is that um, the bore of the valve might get a banana-shaped form, and you can hone and hone and hone till the valve fits in, though you measure a bit too big clearance. So, and there's another thing, these bores were not round anymore, which is logical, especially on the exhaust side, because that gets very hot, because this is a brand new head. This is only 10 uh, matches old, so to say. It's been running maybe half an hour or 45 minutes in total. Um, um, so uh, there's also some deformation uh, by the heat on the exhaust side, because it's a brand new head, there's internal tensions, and when it gets heated up pretty hot, uh, tensions might get relieved, resulting in deformation of the bore. So, hence I honed the bores in which the valve guides are pressed in. So, then the next step is prepare your valve guides. And we'll do it like this. Yes, what I'm doing here now is I put the valve guide in the lathe and I will give here a little recess, which is a little bit longer for the intake than for the exhaust. And why do I do that? There's a couple of reasons. Uh, as you can see here, there's also a recess already a little bit in the bore. Let me see it. You can see it. Yep. And, uh, but face it, the back side here, it will not support the guide, so to say, a lot. But on the other side, on the other side it's massive. So it will press the guide towards the uh, exhaust flange. Similarly, happens, of course, in the <coughs> intake. So I made this recess and it will just fit right in. 
it will fit right into the bore for the beginning, so to say. Like this. And it's just fitting into it. It's just maybe one hundredths or even less play. And so you start straight. It's not like you have to press it in like this. No, it's like the start is already good. Um, this also takes care of a more straighter bore for the valve stem to begin with. And also you will not damage this piece by driving it in like this. It's like you start the right way. Okay, you can also use an old valve, turn it down a little bit and put it on the valve seat and then sticks out. You put the valve guide over the valve stem, which is of course shortened, and then you press in, you start with it, and then you go further on. Then we press it in uh, with the right press fit, of course, and uh, then the next step you would say, okay, we start honing it. No, 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 we're not going to hone right away. Because what we have to do is we have to machine the guide to the original shape which TrickFlow wanted because it's tapered here by hand, not by um, machine so to say. It's completely tapered by hand and after that also on the exhaust side we will taper it with a carbide burr and then we will hone it to size and after that when it's honed to size, the right fit for the pilot of the valve and seat machine, or guide and seat machine, we can um, cut the um, seats again. Actually, we will cut the seats again for the second time because there was a problem with the air filter. Um, I have already done the valve seats. One time before, now I'm going to cut the valve seats for the second time, but also now the valve guides had to be replaced, including the valves. Yes, we had also to replace the valves. This is the second time the valves are going inside or in the head again. So, um, and by doing this in this way, I know that the valve guide has got straight bore with the right play uh, of clearance to the valve stem and that will take care of a very long <laughs> valve guide life and valve life and also on power because um, the valve will not have to find its way onto the seat. It's guided, so to say, with as less as possible play in the guide. So. Um, I don't re replace valve guides maybe the normal way or it takes a lot of time. Why? Because you want to deliver quality and also long lasting quality so the customer will enjoy uh, uh, a head with a long service life and as long as possible power which I like and also the customer like. So. And it's also a business card, so to say, running around on the circuit. So this is what I do with replacing valve guides in these type of heads. Sometimes I do also do it in other heads. Um, so this was just to give you a little impression about doing valve guides. Oh yes, and of course we have the question which <laughs> Ferreira told me I always, almost exclusively use valve guides in small block Chevy's Ford etc from Freya is that the bore is almost as big as the valve stem meaning the valve cannot go in and a lot of people say well this is difficult you have to hone it to size before <laughs> the valve stem fits in correct because what you want is a complete round and straight bore with as minimum clearance as possible. If you would ream the guide already to say 300 of a millimeter of play, how on earth will you get lower <laughs> in clearance <laughs> after you pressed it in? You can't. So a valve guide is also not a round piece of bronze with a hole in it. Now it's pretty it's pretty high accurate uh, piece. 
which you use in cylinder heads. Um, so that was a little explanation. And um, well, we see in the channel maybe some questions about it or not. And have a good new, new year and a nice 2025.